Hi guys, it's Christy and welcome to the pop-up couch. Just checking in with you. Sorry that I missed you this morning. I know a few of you have been asking and you're right. I did not get on this morning. I'm so sorry. I was rushing out of the house. I had to get to work, but that's all besides the point. I just want to check on with you real quick. There's two things I'm going to talk to you about real quick that I want you to pay attention to. And if this sounds familiar to you, I want you to really listen here discouragement and self-doubt. These two things are killers, guys, killers when it comes to your self-esteem, what you're capable of, where you're going next. Hi, Marilyn. How you doing, girl? Um, these two things are really, really bad, okay, for your for your life, all right? Stop feeling discouraged. I, I When I was in New York last week, okay, on the pop-up couch, Hi, Pablo. Hi, buddy. This one's for you, okay? When I was in New York on the pop-up couch last week, I got to tell you something. I I met a lot of people between the ages of 21 and, say, 30, okay? For some reason, I noticed, even, even not in the city, even here in New Jersey, I know of a lot of people in this age range, uh, that they are facing self-doubt all the time. They, they constantly question themselves. They constantly question, you know, can I do this? My parents said I'm not able to do this. I, maybe I shouldn't jump into this so so fast. Maybe I should wait another couple of years and, and live with my parents some more to save more money. Or I, I'm not sure that, you know, there's a lot of self-doubt and there's a lot of, I'm going to say low self-esteem. And I hate to see this and I feel bad because the kids are smart, you know, I mean, at 23 years old, do you guys remember being 23? Did you sit around thinking, oh my God, I'm, I, you know, maybe I'm not ready for the next step in life. Maybe I'm not ready to get my own apartment. Maybe I'm not ready to get a real relationship. I, I'm not sure why this is happening to this, this age range of kids, but I'm worried about them and I want them to know, and you too, if you guys are watching and you need to hear this, you can do whatever it is you want to do. You don't have to wait for permission from somebody. You don't have to run it by somebody. Y you just do it. And I know that's scary, but doubting yourself is even worse than, than taking a chance on something that may very well bring you so much happiness. So please, guys, stop with the self-doubt. Stop with the discouragement, okay? There's no need for it in your life. It doesn't belong in your life at all. Okay, you're so capable. You're so smart. You know what it is inside of you that's calling your name, what it is you need to do next. If you want to write the book, write a book. Start today. Write a couple pages. Okay, whatever it is. There's so many beautiful dreams that people have and everyone's dreams are different. Whatever they are, it doesn't matter. You know what makes you happy. I was talking to somebody today at work at my second job at a work at a restaurant. He's a young server. He's very sweet. And he, his dream is to, um, he wants to work on Broadway. Sorry, guys. Sorry, my phone was ringing. Sorry. Anyway, so he, his dream is to work, work on Broadway, all right, as an actor. And, you know, he's doing everything he can to get out there, even if it's just p taking on roles that don't pay much. You know, maybe the commute is a little bit longer than he'd like, but it doesn't matter. That's something he really wants. And I told him today, I said, you got to keep going for that. You know, you work at this restaurant, you wait tables when you can to make money, okay? But in the meantime, stick to that thing that you love to do that's calling your name you got to get on that stage you got to you want to get to broadway the only way to get to broadway is to get on as many stages as possible and to meet as many actors as you can along the way all right you just do your part do your time keep it alive it's like it's like taking a beautiful plant that belongs outside and bringing it in all, all winter all right it's going to die it, it, just like your just like your passion just like your soul just like everything if you continue to not give it the sunlight and attention and love and food that it needs it's going to die you have to guys you have to pay attention to this right now please whatever it is that you want to do do it start today start now i have to go because i'm on my way to the studio all right to record our newest episode of the podcast that I have, the Landing Strip Podcast. I know Pablo listens. Thank you, Pablo. He's one of my our favorite listeners. But um, of all the other things I have going on in my life, I do have a podcast that I did create a couple years ago with my friend Eva. And, you know, no, I don't get to do the podcast 
as often as I'd like, guys, but I got to tell you what, I do make time for it. And tonight is one of those days. We're doing an interview tonight and we're going to rent the studio. We're going to sit down. We're going to get into our vibe and we're going to do our thing. And there's no better feeling. Well, I shouldn't say that. Being on the pop-up couch, New York, that's number one feeling for me. That's my, that's my that's my favorite. Okay. But number two, walking into a studio tonight, sitting in front of the mic and just doing that, that, that just, I love, I just love that. So I live for these, these things. I know that that's my water. That's my food, right? That that's me. That's the plant with the sunshine. That's me. Figure it out what it is that you guys need to make you bloom into the most beautiful version of yourself, okay? And don't wait. You don't need to hear this from me. You know, all right? But I'm just reminding you because I'm worried, especially about, like I said, with a lot of the younger kids being discouraged and doubting. And they're in a standstill. You know, they're not moving in any direction. They're just stuck. You don't have to be stuck, okay? Just a little bit goes a long way. I'm here if you need me for anything. Thank you so much for always listening to my nonsense. All right. And for tuning in, I will check in with you guys for sure on Monday. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your weekend. Okay. I'll be thinking about you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.